Greetings and welcome to Choo Choo Survivor. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this is a game I never thought I would see. So I love like the vampire survivors genre of games. <clears throat> this is that, except you're driving a locomotive. And uh, it's pretty intense, I gotta say. I won my first round um, just the last game I played, so we're gonna have a lot of money to look at the unlock abilities. Um, I want to show you a thing first. With selecting a locomotive, even though there's only one choice, it's totally worth clicking on it. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, nice horn. Anyway, <clears throat> we can unlock more locomotives in here. Um, I might do that, actually. I might get one. <clears throat> I do want to get a fifth weapon. We have a lot of money, so let's get a fifth weapon. I don't know what the combat drone is, but it sounds cool. So let's get that. I'm going to also unlock the steam locomotive. And then we're going to look at some of the other things that we want. I just wanted to get some new stuff. Um, so we can have locomotive speed, acceleration, damage increase. Might be really good. Regenerative health would also be very good. Pallet move speed. Yeah. I think that would be good as well. Gold gain is basically this is gold uh, that we're buying stuff with. So I'm thinking pallet move speed. Um, let's just max that out. <clears throat> and you don't know what that is, but trust me, it's needed. Okay, damage increase. Let's go with that. Oh my god, that's expensive. Help. Um, health plus 10%. That wouldn't hurt either. I, I had some close calls there. Uh, let's get this. Anything else we can get? Acceleration and speed. Let's go speed. Let's do speed. Okay, I think we're good. So, we're going to go. Let's select. Let's try this one. Yeah. All right. Ready? Let's play. This is cool. Oh my god, I unlocked a new map. Okay, what I'm going to do is let's play the... Um, actually... No, let's play the Forest of the Dead because... Um, you haven't seen that one yet. All right, so what you want to do is you press space bar to get the thing going. And you press, uh, and you mouse over uh, to get these pallets and other crystals, like XP crystals. You can see them kind of building up there. Um, and once you get a point, or we get two points from that pallet, um, we get to change things, right? So the first thing we have here, this is our weapon. This is our current weapon, which I don't like this weapon. Um, it's kind of a, it's like a gun. I would rather have um, something else, uh, which this locomotive doesn't have. The other locomotive had like a mortar. That was super handy. Um, this one has like, it looks like a shotgun. This looks like an automatic something. So I'm going to, and we can buy another one of these if we want. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. Uh, let's wait until we get five, and I want to get the shotgun, I think. I think that's the way to do this. Okay, let's just press spacebar. I forgot how to play already. So we need five, remember? Five. There's five. Okay. Let's get this thing. That looks like a shotgun, I think. I kind of want all of them to go to closest. Closest is good. Okay. Okay. Now, before we can upgrade that, we need some more points here. Um, gold is good, again, for the... Okay, let's do this. Let's get some... Okay, this doesn't have an, a radius. But let's put up the rate of fire. I find that to be pretty important. So, let's keep going. Now, the object of this game is to get to the end of the track. Okay, so we have this right up here which we aren't even 1% because it's not even showing us 1% yet. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, rate of fire is at max for that weapon right now. It looks like it's doing pretty good damage. It's shooting those like, like five bullet thingies. Let's put up the damage of this thing. See, there we go. We get lots of bullets and stuff. So we do need health and oil. Now the oil is basically the fuel for the train. <clears throat> so that's pretty important. Okay. Now we don't really need to pick up all of these crates. Um, what we mainly need are the upgrade points and gold. Because right now we have plenty of fuel. Uh, plenty of fuel, plenty of health. So those don't really... They, they top you up, but like it's not something that you um, need. Also, I really wish that um, <laughs> we could add escape to get rid of that menu. 
Because I'm tired of... I don't like to click uh, X's. Like, why do I have to click up here? I just use my left hand and press escape, but escape doesn't work. I hope that that gets added um, because it would be much handier to get stuff. But anyway, all of these, like, pallets and stuff, uh, those were the things that we wanted to move faster, remember, in the upgrades? These are pallets. Uh, so this is important. That's an upgrade point. Pallet. It has nothing on the top, basically. The health pallet has a cross on the top like red cross kind of thing it's not red but it's like you know uh health <clears throat> anyway let's go keep going let's go 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 i want to upgrade this let's get the push back up on this as well because that's going to help us i think we might even want to change this one to fire where the cursor is and we'll just try to keep this ahead of us basically come on okay and then let's go have more um and then we can also aim at those enemies that come kind of in the middle of our our train as well. Come on, let's go. Okay, so that weapon is like fully upgraded now. Now I'm going to collect another five points, I think. I'm not really that happy with the first weapon. Unless it's good. No, I, don't, I think that's like the first weapon we get on the other, tr on the other locomotive. Okay, so we're at 8% done right now. Uh, okay, five. Okay, I don't know. I've never tried this weapon, but we'll see. It looks like it's just... Let's do closest. Okay, all right. Let's see. Damage. Let's put the damage up on this. Okay, we are doing pretty good, but man, it's slow getting through these enemies. Now, enemies can actually grab the caboose from the back as well. Uh, which is definitely not ideal because they can slow the train down just by hanging on to the back of it basically there's a this is the 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 healing one with the cross on it uh, and there have been times where I just go straight through and just ignore stuff um, because it just you know we want to get through gotta get through go 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 dudes Like, we don't need that health right now. I don't really care. So I can pass it by without thinking about it or worrying. Not really seeing any of those other... Okay, they're smaller... Seems like smaller bullets. I'm not really happy with any of the weapons on this locomotive. I don't like this one very much, I have to say. Um, let's go piercing. And then I, I always like to do rate. I should do rate first. I should always do rate first didn't do it and now I'm bad now I'm like now nah, we want it we need it uh, right now it's kind of slow going we're not seeing a lot of enemies it's just kind of like pretty chill okay let's go I always like to like point the cursor ahead just clear clear ahead of me just try to go because I again the object is to get to the end of the track it's not to collect the most stuff Collecting stuff is kind of like an extra. Once you get to the end of the track, you really are going to get plenty of things. Plenty of stuffs. Oh, wow. That's a good long run that we got there. Wow. Super nice. And keep in mind, you need to um, use the little light for um, collecting XP when you kill the monsters as well. So keep that in mind. Okay, get this stuff out of here. Let's go right. Keep on going, folks. I'll get this point. I really should have been more careful about actually grabbing the points. Because the points are quite valuable. There's another point. I'll take that. Thank you. But, you know, the sooner you start them moving, because you have to put your light over them so they start moving, um, you know, at the very edge of the screen, then that's the sooner they'll start coming to you. Okay, we got some bosses here. Let's just get rid of that. Wow, five per second is cool. Very cool. Okay, we get special rewards for certain things. So this is three points and 157 gold. Which is kind of fantastic. Now, I don't know which monsters 
give me those? They all kind of, like, look the same, and I swear, like, okay, I swear I killed a couple of big guys there. Um, but yeah, sometimes, yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. Okay. Ten per second? What? Wow. That must be, like, a machine gun or something. Okay. Yep, there's stuff firing, that's for sure. I want to get this current gun that I have, that the uh, shotgun, to be on automatic. That would be nice. Okay, so let's get another let's get another shotgun because we've already upgraded those two to the max, and I want this to be closest. And okay, we don't have any points to upgrade it, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Come on, dudes, dudes. Now. You can buy emergency, like, uh, fuel for the train, as well as health, and I have needed that, like, when I got to the very end of the first level. Um, that is, like, serious, man. It's, like, serious stuff. And, um, so you really need that. But I thought initially, like, when I looked at it, I was like, ah, this is an upgrade to hold more. Because this is what it looks like, right? What is that? I don't know what this is. Is that ammunition or something? I have no idea what this is. Um, and it doesn't show on the train. Okay, so we have fuel and health. This is to top it up. It's not to hold extra, which is what I thought at first. Yeah, I don't know what that other symbol is because I don't see it anywhere on the train. No idea. And to my knowledge, like, the, the ammunition doesn't run out. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Okay, let's keep on going. Go, 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 go. Kill stuff. Go, 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 kill the things. I'm, like, having this space bar mashed, man. This reminds me of, like... Oh, no, I shouldn't say. <laughs> I shouldn't say. Um, but, like, no, no, I've heard um, when um, Matthias talks about driving trains, right? So when he leaves the station, he just, like, you know, pedal to the metal, basically. He pushes the, uh, the speed stick forward, like, all the way because... It, um, the train doesn't lurch, right? The train is tuned so that it doesn't, like, you know, startle passengers or something or, like, knock them off their feet. So even if you go from zero to, like, fully push forward on the throttle, the train takes quite some time to, like, you know, accelerate up. And, um, so anyway, that's part of, um... Uh, the thing. I'm just, like, pressing the space hard the whole time! It's like, okay, when? Okay, keep on going. Let's get some more damage going. And I, I wonder, I guess the damage is probably multiplied by the damage number that we have um, in the, uh, you know, the upgrades that we did at the very beginning. That's what I'm thinking. Wow, that thing is just shooting. It is shooting. I don't really know how that works. It seems like it's working pretty well. I think I might just buy another one of those as well. So then I have uh, all my weapons. Level 39 right now. It's kind of a strange game. I kind of like it though. Like, so, um, for example, on the other locomotive, the one that you start out with, um, that one... Also, this one is going to be on free demo, I believe. I just got a key sent to me early. Um, so I could show it to you, but I think it's like there's a there's a new like festival, Steam Festival, coming up. Is it the next fest? I don't remember the names of them. Steam has so many of these festivals, but I think they're great because they really showcase a lot of cool games that you can play in demo. So this one is going to be on demo, and I hope you get to play it because it is fun. It was like I was I I played one round and I'm like, oh my god, I know I can do better. Like I didn't survive more than like three minutes or something or five minutes. I think it was five minutes. And then I just didn't, like, realize... I don't know, I just wasn't clicking for me how to play very well. I think I upgraded my first weapon a lot, and it wasn't doing that much damage, right? Um, and I ended up with, like, upgrades of, like, oh yeah, you get 700 gold, which is, like, a far cry from the 19,000 that we just spent. Um, so anyway, I thought, oh, I can do better than this. I surely can do better than this. And my second run was the one I won. 
And um, so on the other locomotive, the, the weapon that I really like is like a mortar. And when you're talking about upgrading it, basically you can upgrade the blast radius um, and stuff. Like you can choose whether or not it explodes. And there's also like a blast radius, uh, one of these guys that you can um, alter. You know, you can, you can make bigger. So that one was pretty cool. I liked that weapon. It worked really well. I'm really curious to see the other locomotives and what kind of weapons they have. Um, it seems kind of neat. It seems kind of cool. But I did want to show you this first level because, I don't know, it's the first level. And then we'll get to the other levels later. <laughs> we'll get to them, don't worry. I like this game, it's cool. It is very cool. I think the next run, I will buy, um, I might buy a new locomotive, but I think I'm going to play with the first locomotive so you can see that uh, mortar and stuff. My goodness, we're getting a lot of upgrade points here. Seven upgrade points, which is great because we can buy another weapon. Um, so we have, I'm gonna buy another uh, machine gun. I think it's a machine gun. I don't know what the heck it is, but it shoots really fast. 10 per second is a lot. And it has piercing, so yay. Oh, I need to set it to, um, I wonder what it would do uh, if I did the star-shaped thing. I wanna see that, I wanna see that. Let's do this, circular. Okay, there it goes. You can see it go every now and again. It's definitely, well, maybe it is 10 per second and it just bursts like every X seconds when, maybe it'll do it every second if, is there, is it 10 bullets? Let's see, one, two, no, it's eight. So this should go faster than one per second. One, two, three. Oh, it is. Look at that. There it goes. That's interesting. They look like, like throwing stars or something. It's kind of cool. But I wonder if I should have them going to nearest, closest instead. Or I could have them go to the cursor. That might be even better. Also, I feel like this train is a lot stronger. I know that by the time I got to like 50%, I was already kind of struggling a tiny bit. Not a lot, but like somewhat. And it was already starting to get like, okay, let's wait for all those medical boxes because we're hurting. Um, okay, let's do more piercing. That's always great. Okay, now we have like no damage, but at least we're having fast speed firing. Let's do the damage. Let's go, 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 go. Okay, we don't... Oh, we got it anyway. Let's move, move, move. But yeah, this feels a little bit... Actually, this feels stronger. I think because of the weapon being such high speed, it does feel stronger. Uh, then even the mortar. So maybe this is better. So maybe I should not worry or woe or anything like this. I don't see it piercing a lot. That's one thing I'm kind of like, is that actually working? Um, but it might be. It might be just like the mobs are too dense. Which could also be. Could be the case. Could be the case. Okay, how far? I don't know how far, how far it goes. It goes up there though. Um, let's see. Yeah, they do kind of fly through. Like if you aim it, oh gosh, it's hard to see when you aim it at the crowd because it's like, it's, I think it gets absorbed almost immediately because the mobs are so thick. But yeah, it is It is actually piercing. You can see when, you, when there's like lone mobs every now and again. Also, if, if mobs hit the vehicle, then you get, then you take damage. That's why we need medical kits, basically. Okay, so that's done. Wow, okay. Let's upgrade our first weapon. Even though I don't really like it, we have it. So we might as well, might as well use it. I mean, I guess we could upgrade something else, like buy another weapon. I think I'm, I'm, we might get another weapon. I, I don't know, actually. I'm thinking we buy another one of those thingies. One of, no, we, that's it. That's all of our weapons. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so when you first start out, you only get four weapons. So we're already stronger than I was with the other train because we have an extra weapon here. OK, 
Okay, speed up. Let's go, go, go. I think acceleration might actually be a good thing. But there is quite a lot of, like, there is a lot of downtime, like, right now. It's like I can't move very well because there's mobs everywhere. I mean, they're literally everywhere. So it's kind of, um, kind of rough. Let's see. Keep on going. Let's see if I can get that one off. See, like, that big, big monster, the bluish one, I thought, oh, that's probably going to be a special one. Nope. Apparently not. Alright, we're for 59%. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh boy. Let's get out of here. Go, go, go. Anyway, I love these Survivors games. I never thought I'd see a train one. Like, that was never in my, like, oh, is that possible? <laughs> no, but it is. It's kind of cool. I love Survivor's games. Like, I really do. I think they're so fun. And, um, yeah, so, anyway. Okay, let's go get all the things, all the stuff. Keep on moving. We're not really having that problem that I encountered in the other, um, run where, like, enemies were hanging onto the caboose. They were like literally coming up behind me so fast because I couldn't move forward, right? And they were just coming to the back and um, and like I just couldn't get anywhere. <laughs> it was a bit crazy. And wow, 64% and no issues. This is pretty great. This is pretty great. I remember in the other run, I was like, okay. I even had to buy oil once. It was a bit wild. I was like, oh my God, okay. This is kind of bad. Okay. More, more stuff. I should get piercing rather than knockback. Knockback should be the last concern, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Enemies. There's piercing. Knockback was actually really good right there. Okay. Boom. Boom. I think we got three. Oh, there's another enemy. I'm gonna stand... Let's see if I can shoot this thing better. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we killed it. Boom. Excellent. But yeah, now you see how they can catch up from behind. Like when you're standing. But I, I was really not wanting that enemy to uh, hang around. Like I was wanting to kill it before it could reach me, so I would take less damage. That was the idea there, and it looks like we're doing really well, actually. I'm quite happy with this run. It's pretty handy. Okay, so... I guess we're done. I don't know what this is. Maybe let's buy it. Oh, I bought a thing. Okay. Oh, that's the drone! Oh, man, I forgot! I didn't... I've never bought one before, so I had no idea. Okay. Anyway, I don't know how it works. Looks like it just goes around. It looks pretty sleepy. I'm not sure if I'm happy with that drone. I think it's kind of lazy. Not not a fan. Definitely not a fan. Okay. And again, those are just top-up options. I would suggest not using those unless you're, like, really low on health. Uh, especially save it for health because... Uh, this game, yeah, the health is a bit brutal. I think it's a bit brutal. So, let's see. Let's keep on going. Let's go, let's go. We're now moving! Many meters per second. We're getting that gold. Don't know how much it's worth. Twelve. Like, like, three hundred. So it's not worth a whole lot, I guess. It's probably, um... Do we, we don't get any gold from monsters, so maybe that's the only gold we get. So maybe it is worth it to get it. away. Now, it also is worth noting that you cannot summon the upgrades when you want to. So if you're low on health and you're like, ah, I'll just do it later, don't. Just do it when you get the opportunity. It only comes when you get, I, I don't know, an extra point or, or several extra points. I'm not really sure if it's like two or one. It always seems like I have two extra points whenever I get uh, the screen for it go away. Um, but right now we're good. We're pretty good. Go away. Dudes, stop ninjing me. 
Do not, do not hurt me. Go away, go away. And again, I do feel like it's really worth uh, having the um, the cursor thing every now and again. Ha having it point toward the cursor instead of just closest. I need to check the other ones and see, because I think one of them is on random, and I don't want that. I want them all on closest or... But we don't need those. We just want the points. Okay, we have 17 points. This is great, just in case we need it. Um, what do we got? At cursor... Closest, closest, at cursor, closest. Okay, perfect. Okay, everything's great. Everything is actually great. Hooray. But again, only going to use those health boosts when we actually need them. Oh, this is getting really thick, though. Look at this. This is crazy. Wow. Sometimes when um, enemies are attacking the back, your closest ones will not attack them because they aren't the closest. So uh, just be careful. That's why I wanted to add some on the cursor. That has worked really well for me uh, as a strat. And like with things like oil, never hurts to top it up. Probably wouldn't have waited for that one if it was too slow, but yeah, topping it up is always a good idea. Okay, no, no, no. Go away, dudes. Okay, now we might be thinking about topping up the health soon. Oh, except for there's a there's a health thingy there. And a money thingy. Go away, dudes. Go away. Dang, this is nuts, man. <laughs> this feels kind of crazy, I have to say. It's like so wild. All this, like, yeah. I don't know. It's cool, though. It's fun. It's a weird concept for a game, but we like it. We do. We like this. Woo! Money. Points. But see, there we got tons and tons of points, but we didn't get the screen. So it's a bit sneaky, I think. All right now I have mountains of points. Okay, 85%. We're almost home. We're almost back. Also, I have no idea why we're making this journey, who we are, who these folks are. I mean, also, the sa the fact that like you can't run them over with the train is a bit odd considering how powerful trains are. Um they are very dangerous for humans. Uh, don't ever stand on the tracks. Um, it will kill you. You will not get a chance to fight with the train. It will just kill you. Period. Anyway. Um, so, wow. 43 points. That's crazy. Like, when I was at this stage in the earlier run, I was just like, oh my god. I have, like... Um, I was just like constantly battling with the health, trying to get more, and I, at some points I ran out of points or got like really close on points where I was like, oh god, I need another point before I can get, and get another health thing. Help. So this, this one, I don't know if it's the guns or the fact that I have an extra gun. I think the fact that I have an extra gun probably makes a massive difference. Uh, because I have five guns. I also have the drone, which I think was a very bad investment. Uh, it doesn't do much. It's like, I would have expected it to be something akin to, like, the King Bible on, uh, um, whatchamacallit, land. Oh, oh, we're getting the happy music! The denouement music! It's like a, it's like a soundtrack. You've made it almost to the end! Like, it's, like, before it was just very, like stressful and like war music and now we have the denouement oh the train is entering the sacred valley and soon shall be home yeah that that music <laughs> oh boy oh boy that's funny 93 percent, 94 percent. excellent but yeah i my other run was much more stressful for sure and the thing is, though, that, like, you can you can actually make quite a lot of meta progress, even if you get, 
you know, to 70% or something like that. Make sure that you get the gold upgrades. I think that's probably the most important upgrade. Maybe, because, uh, like, right now, um, we have passed the amount of experience that we can use for guns and stuff. So the experience upgrade is, I, I don't know, I think I have one or two levels in experience. Um, but I think I need to upgrade the gold most of all. So I have a nice gold multiplier. Like, much bigger than I have right now. Like, max it out. I think I need to max out the gold. Because that, that means you have to do less runs to get... I don't know, do we want to do less runs? Maybe we like doing runs. Hmm? <laughs> it's cool, though. It's cool. It's a cool game. 98% go away, monsters! Shoo! We're ready to be done with you! Okay, I don't even need those points. Go away. Ah, uh, let's get that gold. Why not get the gold, get the gold, 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 17,000 gold. <gasps> Here we are. We made it. A hero's welcome for us. And there's like a finish line. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. So we get to see, we don't get any gun stats. And I kind of wish we got gun stats kind of like, you know, like all the other survivors games. We do get stats on how many enemies we killed, which is kind of nice. That's very different from the other games. But yeah, I would love to see some gun stats. We got 51 points just from boxes. Um, I don't know how many points. Okay, so we got level 86. So the rest of those must have come from enemies, like picking up those little gold diamond or the little diamonds on the field, the XP diamonds. So anyway, that was that locomotive. Um, so let's see. I really think like if we get gold gain up, that's the most necessary. Wow, it's so cheap to upgrade. Gosh, that is very cheap. We can also get initial upgrade points. That might be kind of useful to buy a new gun, like, right off the bat. I don't know if we need it, though. Regenerative health would be better, I think, too. Um, locomotive acceleration. Let's get a little bit of that and speed. It's also nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll just go, go for broke. Why not? Okay. Getting a lot of steam achievements for all this as well. Damage increase, yes. Oh, we have a thousand left. Uh, shall we get, let's get health. I think that's good. All right, and so now we can start the next run with this one. Oh, nice train horn, hooray. <laughs> um, and we'll, we'll play the next level in the next uh, episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.